Trey Cameron and Gloves Red, they'd like to be, back, be joined by Jack Turner. He's got one of our new t-shirts on, so I appreciate you advertising that for us, Jack. Um, Jack, your fight, big Scottish fight, all Scottish fight, domestic fight with Andy Tam um, on a massive card for Scottish boxing with Ricky Burns and Willie Lemon. How much are you looking forward to fight night? Uh, I know, I'm ecstatic that I'm back out, especially with such a big card, do you know what I mean? So, to, to get back out on a card like that is, uh, I can't ask for anything else, so looking forward to it. Good, and Jack, I know that you, you sell quite a lot of tickets and you've got an affiliation with the supporters club Celtic, the boys. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen some of your social media posts that you've been selling quite a lot of tickets. Did yep. you expect quite a lot of support in the night and is there going to be any, uh, any flares in the crowd? Uh, aye, so I'm going to have a massive support by them, which is going to be great, do you know what I mean? So I'm kind of diving into that, kind of introducing football into boxing in the sense of bringing a fan base for there into this sport, which I think will be massive, do you know what I mean? And get more on board with it. Uh, I'm definitely hoping for a couple of players. I might walk out with one and all. <laughs> <laughs> what, do, what does that big performance against Andy Tam and a victory do for you, Jack, in terms uh, of it? Aye, I think it? I think it's a big one, do you know what I mean? In the sense that, I'll be honest, in, in, in the, with me, when I started my professional career, I've not had a great start, do you know what I mean? My performances haven't been good, do you know what I mean? So I, I can happily admit that. So I think now, me, change of scenery, been here with Joe, uh, it's like a new lease of life for me, the way I've been, obviously been around Nathaniel, Reagan, Elliot and all that, um, it's been outstanding, so I feel like, for me, it's been a, it's been a big impact and I feel there's going to be a massive performance, so I, f I feel like once I, I get this job done, which I don't see it and otherwise I'll get it done, and uh, I think I'll move on to bigger things. What, what was the main motivation of, you know, training with, kind of Joe Ham Senior and, and the guys here? Just felt when, when everything happened and I, I needed to kind of move coach, I felt, why not go back to my grassroots? Like, I boxed as an amateur, I mean, I always boxed at a top level, and I was always kind of spoke about and that kind of thing, so I was like, go back to my grassroots, go back to Joe, and uh, see how it goes, and honestly, man, I, like, being here and being around everybody, especially all the boys, man, do you know what I mean? And you've got, like, a British and Commonwealth champion here, and uh, getting rounds with him, and it's just been, it's been night and day for me. And I, f I feel even just being here today, and, and, you know, from speaking to the boxers, in the stable, it's, it's a highly competitive gym in regards to what you're doing, you know, if it's sparring, if it's bag work, if it's runs, is that helping to kind of improve you in regards to your training and your preparations for your fights? Oh, 100%. It's like you're always kind of coming off each other. Do you know what I mean? Someone does, even on the bags, like you said, a combination, you're working for another combination, do you know what I mean? So you're working off each other, sparring, there's, there's no room for rest in that ring, do you know what I mean? So it's like you're, you're, you're helping each other, do you know what I mean? And that's, that's what it's all about, even though it's a, it's a, it's a one man sport. It's in here, it's a family and a team, so that's what I love about it, and they're pushing you to the next limits. Great. And have you have you sparred with Andy Tam before? Like, what do you know about him? Do you think they'll be in, in regards to the build up? Will there be any need or will be respectful? Uh, I've never sparred with Andy before. In, in years we, we boxed years ago, uh, which uh, it was back years and years ago. But I've never sparred. But I know Nathaniel and that sparred him, so I've got that kind of luxury. They know what he's like. Uh, and no, I don't regard Andy. I don't know about any of that. Andy's a nice boy, do you know what I mean? And at the end of the day, I'm just going to get a job done. And uh, once it's done, it'll just be all handshakes and cuddles. So, yeah. aye, that'll be that. And Jack, how, how did the fight come about? Because with the both of you being kind of St Andrews fighters, it was one that I wasn't really kind of expecting when the kind of undercard fights were getting announced. Aye, no, listen, I didn't really expect it either. Uh, and it was Joe that said to me, he's like, I think Andy Tam will be the fight we'll get you for a title. And I said, wait, no problem. And I swear it was said within a couple of days. And when that fight announced, Joe's like me. And I got a phone call saying, you're fighting Andy Tam. So all credit to Joe. I think he was the one that got it over the line in the sense of phoning Ian going, listen, this fight, I think will be good for Jack. So I think that's how it all kind of came about. So credit to him. Brilliant. No, listen, Jack, thanks very much for your time. Um, I'm sure we'll see you at the, the live workouts as well. On the nice one, big man. Cheers. Cheers.